The Ford Ranger Raptor is back, bigger and better than ever. The first-generation Raptor set a new standard for off-road performance from a production UTA in Australia, but there was always an elephant in the room. Ford has confirmed that the Ranger Raptor will indeed be sold in the US, following the reveal of the global version. Before the official news, we had seen spy photos of it testing as well as a camouflage prototype of the next generation Ranger. The Raptor variant will reach showrooms on our shores sometime next year. The fundamentals in the Ranger Raptor are in keeping with what we've come to expect from the wider lineup, albeit with plenty of quality touches to emphasize its place atop the range. The steering wheel is unique to the Raptor and features magnesium paddles instead of the silly little shift buttons on the shifter, while the seats hold you more tightly than the standard units. The Raptorized Ranger will be mildly different from its regular counterpart. While we still expect an abundance of hard plastics and some rubberized materials, Ford spruces up the cabin with exclusive content. The overseas version boasts leather and micro suede upholstery and heavily bolstered front seats. In addition to a pair of aluminum paddle shifters, the steering wheel should wear a red band at the 12 o'clock mark, denoting its performance edge. We anticipate it'll offer a similar set of standard and optional features as the standard truck, including dual-zone automatic climate control, heated front seats, remote start, and more. The Ranger Raptor will probably come in only one configuration, a crew cab body style with a 5-foot cargo box, infotainment and connectivity. We expect every Ranger Raptor to have a 12.4-inch touchscreen with Ford's latest sync infotainment software. That would mean Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot are standard features. Along with various charging ports, the Widebody Ranger will likely offer options such as built-in navigation and a 12-speaker Bang and Olufsen audio system. Storage space around the cabin is plentiful. The central bin is deep, the door pockets have plenty of room, there are two cup holders on the transmission tunnel, and the slot beneath the dashboard is huge. The slot ahead of the gear selector is perfect for a large McDonald's fries, no chip crisis here, provided you don't spill them with the extra V6 grunt on tap. Connectivity is also well catered for thanks to a wireless charging pad ahead of the gear selector and twin USB ports in the same central cubby, one USB-C and the other USB-A. Another USB-A port is located up high, next to the rear view mirror, and is designed to power a dash cam or external GPS. Perhaps the biggest improvement, however, is the driving position. The steering wheel now adjusts for reach as well as rake and it's far easier to locate yourself comfortably. The seats themselves are also excellent. Rear seat space is fine, but doesn't feel like much of a step on from what was previously on offer. What is new is the bench, which has been reshaped relative to the rest of the lineup to offer more support to outboard occupants for when the driver starts. Leg and headroom are both acceptable, and the bench is broad enough that three trot eyes will be able to travel on short journeys without wanting to kill each other afterwards. The inclusion of air vents is good, as is the fold-down central armrest with cup holders. It's handy for long road trips and for keeping warring kids apart.
The code orange flashes from the front carry over to the rear, and the materials back there feel quite plush. The taillights are LEDs too, but one key visual change compared to the pre-production prototype we drove is the color of the exhausts. Originally, they were anodized black, but they wore badly during testing, so production Raptors now have exhausts finished in silver. The exhausts sound terrific too. Ford had to take one design on the pipework, but weren't happy with the noise, so started again with a clean sheet and came up with a signature sound that is raucous and raunchy.